my background is I, I my background is I'm from UP. My roots are in the villages near Ghaziabad, and um, uh, son of proud parents uh, who thought education was quite a big deal because they themselves didn't get proper schooling. So the journey started there and um, ended up at some elite uh, institutions like IIM Bangalore, St. Stephen's College. Uh, worked in the corporate sector for 15 years, like my introduction was shared quickly here by Shetija. Uh, I spent a lot of time at Google building YouTube in India from zero to about $100 million of annual revenue. Uh, this was done at a time before 4G, so this number was still quite unique back then. Today, people talk in billions and 100 million is still small, but uh, quite happy to be part of that innings and learned during that journey. My second 100 million innings happened during uh, my first startup, India Goes Global, where I was sort of like the McKinsey for early stage startup founders, helped them build and scale their ventures, created $250 million worth of portfolio growth across eight startups, mostly tech, internet, driven startups. And uh, now uh, at Oki Poki, uh, we are uh, taking some ass. I had some slides just to set the context of where we are in our journey. Um, but this is going to go out. Okay, so I'm just going to read through it uh, um, as a recorded session. I didn't realize it was going to record. <clears throat> but um, we are roughly around about 3 million um, users uh, already teaching more than 10 million words to little children all across India. We possibly the only app that does it in 11 uh, different major languages, uh, which is a child's mother tongue. So right from the Hindi belt and its variants like Gujarati, Punjabi, Bhojpuri, Rajasthani to down south and everything in between, uh, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Marathi, Bengali, we, we cover like uh, a lot of major languages. Very happy to serve this because uh, English is a new caste system, the way I call it. So this, this sort of differentiates. Mothers don't want their kids to sit next to you if you don't speak good English. Uh, how many of you have been guilty of that? Anybody? No, not yet. Okay, fair enough. This is an involved forum. But how many of you have seen that happen? <clears throat> yeah, okay. A couple of you are nodding. Thanks for that. And... Um, now, think about not getting access to a good school because of your English or a good college or a good job or a promotion or a meeting um, and, and, and the opposite, right? So if somebody is not that smart, but just because they speak great English, imagine how many people just go like, wow, right? Uh, so, so bias is both ways. They cut you out and they promote you just on one skill. Why, why is it such a powerful caste system? Um, obviously, there's a legacy, there's a history, there are a lot of reasons for why this happens. But then we decided, okay, let's use technology to kill this caste system. Let's stop the differentiation. Uh, our kids are brilliant and amazing. How can they just use technology to go out and fly with English also? It's just another bloody skill, right? If I can learn, anybody can learn too. And that's how we started. Uh, so we built this cute character that you see in background. Poki Poki, which is a musical octopus. It's designed to be every child's best friend. In fact, our anthem says my best friend's Oki Poki, and it goes like that. Um, and yeah, we've been getting a lot of love. Uh, what else? <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll probably pause on the Oki Poki story there uh, with the fact that last December, we went number one in education category on Google Play Store. So some of you who are thinking of launching or scaling your startups think revenue or VC money is the only way to do it. We are still seed funded, but um, we top almost all unicorns out there. Physics, Vala, Baijus, An Academy, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, for the last six, seven months, we've been steady in the top three. Obviously, ranks keep changing on a daily basis, uh, but, but uh, phenomenally excited what our team has managed to do. Um, so a lot of people who connect with this, usually they've either traveled a lot across India or across emerging markets, uh, connect with the middle class values, or simply they've struggled with their own English uh, or seen somebody close to that. Uh, some of your parents who struggle with early childhood growth, because uh, as I was describing, English naturally gives you a confidence edge. 
um, one fun fact is when we teach kids how to introduce themselves properly, how many parents come back and, you know, super excited telling us like, wow, my child is introducing themselves like this. Like something as basic as that this is a networking session. We're supposed to introduce ourselves all the time in life. And this is exactly what's happening. Um, okay, changing gears. What else I like to do as I was sharing earlier for some of you who were there at that time. I love to hang out with founders mostly. So I, uh, I spend time mostly with uh, tech founders um, or I, I'm in the hills pretty much like Sandy. I've been to various geographies in Himalayas. Um, because I'm based in Delhi, Uttarakhand is a good bias to have. It's lovely, but also in Machal. Uh, you must come over then. <laughs> <laughs> very roady kind of a the person otherwise. Um, I usually had a very hard time because I traveled so much last 30 days um, just communicating with me. So I didn't mean to give her a hard time, but next 30 days are also insane on travel. But I'm happy that I'm here. And like I promised, in five minutes, I'll wrap up whatever I have to say so that you guys get a chance to customize this to your liking um, the way you want it to. What, just, just bring it on. Bring on any questions, doubts. I'll, I'll see what's the best I can do. So Amit, Amit, can you can you uh, explain a little bit about the model you follow? So it's a subscription based model. Or it's a, it's a, you know there's a course or there are different set of courses uh, which you uh, you know capture as part of your app. Is there any physical intervention as well? Okay, I'm glad you asked that, but that's a pedagogy question. Do we have more questions um, in the chat or something? Not yet. Okay, fair enough. Um, so, so let's attack pedagogy. But what are the building blocks of learning any language? Okay, it's vocabulary. Ultimately, you want like confidence in that language to express your thoughts and fluency while you do that. But let's go back. What's the pronunciation or these sounds? How how that uh, uh, sound ecosystem or phonic ecosystem of that language works? Now, English is not a very phonetic language, unlike most Indian languages, like Hindi. When you say Ase Anar or Ase Amit, it remains the same. But when you go to A for Apple, that's A, Apple. But snake can be the same A as A, right? Or like you guys play with ball, so same A becomes O. And literally A has more than eight such uh, use cases of sounds. Some of you don't know all of that. <laughs> but yeah, of course. Uh, my job is to know all of that. That's what I'm here to share. Yeah. <clears throat> then we curate uh, learning experiences. So can we use technology to literally go to the masses and they can practice on the app how to speak properly and the app is designed to be best friends. It tells them, hey, try again or hey, you got part of that right or hey, you did not get that right depending on the use case. And uh, one fun fact is that uh, you should test out the app on the type of wrong answers you can give because uh, AI is designed to be like a human teacher. So it's supposed to correct a lot of those wrong type of answers. And um, that's when the app really took off and we started focusing on what goes wrong in a child's learning experience. Oh, so, uh, But to close out the other layer of Jaspeet's question, we actually also do a lot of live uh, teaching interventions because some of these kids do not have access to great quality schooling or teachers. So I live in Delhi. Now, NCR arguably has about anywhere between 700 to 1,000 schools. Uh, top 50, all of us know, are like breathtaking awesome. If your child were to get there, you would like love it. They're, they're getting the best environment. Next 50, maybe. You can argue both ways. Beyond that, nobody even argues. Parents are super frustrated with whatever they're getting across subjects. And we are frustrated when we go out to recruit teachers because we try to hire so well, then we got to still train them on top, okay? Because their own phonics is sometimes really, really bad, okay? Uh, sometimes their vocabulary is not so good. Sometimes they're not the best of the teachers yet. Um, and uh, so, we you know, we have a hard time training the trainers and, and that's a big gap too. But uh, that also says what kids are learning out there. And thanks to media, parents are aware. Uh, thanks to COVID, there's a second smartphone in most households. 
where they did classes on COVID. So the penetration is is just for you to take if you are any um, content entrepreneur in any subject in English, uh, in, in education, sorry. And uh, not just English, math, whatever you can do, this is the time to explore. So yeah, we do blended learning of our own. So we mix it up with human touch. We mix it up with self-learn, AI driven. We do a bit of both. And tell what age groups uh, is your target audience or? The default is two to eight. Below two, I think they are too young to handle a device according to me. Even though we know a lot of kids who start at six months, I don't advocate it. <laughs> we okay. designed it for two to eight. And uh, um, we, we give a lot of authority to the parents to control that experience in terms of duration, in terms of uh, type of content, all of that is a very evolved parent product inside the app. And uh, there's a sounds product, there's a stories product, which is insanely viral. Kids love stories, and that's one of the great ways to build language skills. So, so we do that, but just vocabulary building with learning games, all of that works. Yeah. And and uh, the target audience uh, is uh, across the globe, I guess? No, uh, we're insanely focused on India. All 11 languages that we target are for India. I think in future, we'll go out and uh, do all markets, uh, emerging okay. markets, global markets, because every market has that problem. Even if you think that UK is very evolved or US is very evolved, they have the same problem with their education system. Top 10%, very good, right? Just like we have IITs and <laughs> we have some RECs, some NITs which are very famous, and then you don't know what happened to your child. You paid for the degree. And that okay, did, right. did not do anything. So same is a problem in US, UK. So there's a lot of torso and tail, uh, if I can use that jargon, um, which is, or 80%, the bottom 80% in most markets are struggling for quality. So so we'll get requirements, but no, today it's only designed for India. We are a very Bharat first sort of an app. <laughs> no, that's, that's a huge, humongous market, I guess, if they're able to serve the needs of Bharat only, right? And India combined. So I think they're two countries themselves big countries so they're rewarding with you a lot of love also because there are very few apps out there who talk to them in a language they understand and uh, we we went from like literally 10 percent of our organic downloads to almost 50 60 percent of our downloads happening through that uh just organic word of mouth nothing else you know, wonderful uh love to you know know more about the myths maybe we can catch up some time in person and love to explore uh because I think I think markets like Canada, uh, UK, you mentioned, and US, where an Indian diaspora is pretty big, uh, they they would also, and I think there's a lot of affinity in terms of uh, you know getting back to Indian languages as well as obviously you know the English also remains obvious there, but getting back to Indian languages, ensuring that your kids are learning those languages in the best possible manner in the right way actually, right? So that uh, is always there. So I next mean, major market inside Bharat is teaching kids how to speak a good Hindi. Yeah. If you go down south, they, they're preparing the kids for national travel or national colleges. They might end up in an IIT Delhi and get lost out if they're speaking only Tamil or English. They know that. So there's a lot of market there and obviously NRIs as well. But yeah, yeah. today this is very middle class, very Bharat focused and that's our core. We don't design for elites. Um, so we believe they have more options and we're just serving the underserved right now. That's the easy way to grow, no? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Great, great. Thank you. Thanks, Amit. Thanks. Yeah. Wonderful. So, uh, I have one question, Amit. Like, uh, uh, this is Arun, by the way. Uh, uh, congratulations. The work you are doing is amazing, I can say. Uh, uh, in India, like when you're talking about India, uh, we have a huge youth populations and uh, we know that uh, maybe more than 80 90 percent people are not able to speak good english or something like that of course nowadays people are learning and uh, as you rightly said parents want their kids to learn english so they are already emphasizing for the newly born babies and kids putting towards english learning and all those things so have you ever ever thought about the people in the age group of anywhere between uh, 16, 17 through 30, they are the most struggling people right now. They want to do something good in their life and from small town and other places, you know, they're not able to speak. And that is really holding them behind in, in corporate world or somewhere they want to do, but they cannot do that. Have you ever thought about that? 
Sure, that gets asked very often, Arun. So not surprised with that question at all. Now, language building, building blocks are the same. Now, do we have the capability to teach? Yes, but do we have the resources to market to that audience and operationalize that? No, because any startup starts with some niche and then eventually expands. But inbound, we've done like so many batches of youth, so many batches of young professionals, so many batches of uh, parents looking for help with their own English or teachers. Um, fun fact, during COVID, um, in Orissa, there is this uh, town called Charsukuda. It actually has a DPS also. Now, we had this little girl called Krisha. I've written very often about it because the story is very close to my heart. And Krisha did so phenomenally well at the age of five that her work started going into her school magazine. Um, predictably, the principal noticed, found out my number and said, you know, can you train some of our staff up on the way you teach? Because they know their English, your DPS. But the way you bring in fun to the classroom and um, I'll just show this as a wrap. Let's see what I can show. So if you went to like our YouTube channel, you'll find Ab wo mujhe ghar mein bhi English mein baat karne laga hai. Teacher har ek bacche ko individual attention dete hai. Ab bacche ki hesitation kam ho gai hai. Bacche ne khud kaa ki se oki poki online course karna hai. Ab ye sentence banane laga gai hai. Mera bacha bhoat shaitan hai. Wo ek jage nahi baitta. Lekin jab aap padhate ho, to wo khushi se ek jage baitke padh leta hai. बच्चे ने खुद बोला मुझे ऑकी पॉके ज्वाइन करना है बच्चे ने मुझे खुद कहा कि मुझे अब इंग्लिश सीखना है अब वो बहुत एक्साइटेड रहता है क्लास के लिए मेरी बेटी बहुत शाय है लेकिन टीचर्स इतना अच्छा सिखाते हैं अब वो बात करने लगे एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ दिस बिफोर आफ्टर वीडियोस ऑफ अ लिटिल चैंपियंस फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द कंट्री ओके वी वी जस्ट सेलिब्रेट दैट कीप अपलोडिंग एटसेट्रा 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 सो दिस इज व्हाट कीप्स मी सो हैप्पी एंड एक्साइटेड because uh, there is so much of lovely response i mean i can keep going and i almost have but uh, try this app out it's free to try we have a lot of premium content uh, available so we give a weekly class live for free for children we give uh, lots of stories every day there's a new story that you can learn from totally free thousands of words uh, to practice and learn uh and yes there is a significant depth to our uh, paid content as well so but but the free content alone is like enough to keep you glued for a year and and improve uh, we found people reporting that their kids <clears throat> reading speed has gone up like five six times with just two three months on the app so so efficacy is very very high okay so, um if you guys are parents just just do that and if you have any other partnership opportunities out there like arun was hinting at Uh, I, I'm quite open. We we know how to do English, but we have limited marketing resources. Um, but but you have uh, opportunities to tie up. We why not? We do that all the time. So that's not. Right. Yeah. So uh, recently, I've started one non-profit organizations uh, uh, to empower the youth of our country, and I was thinking about because uh, if something can be worked out. Uh, wherein you know uh, we can have your uh, services for the youth specifically in that aspect and we oh. can market that we can advertise that so that part we can take a complete load but it is completely you know my whole purpose is to empower the youth of our country and that you know and this could be one of the very you know great thing for them to you know get uh, this kind of uh, platform and learning or something if that can be done yes i would love to do that and uh, let's see how we can connect uh, on that that uh, space actually sure we are very good at english uh, we are the number one language learning app for english in india we only compete with duolingo sometimes on the play store um, and uh, in this country not of course globally they're like huge giant but um, uh, happy to do that happy to do that i think there are a lot of layers to this uh, what you just said i'm just being mindful of time uh my my spelling is quite easy to locate on internet so so just uh, take a screenshot of that and and find me on twitter or something and we'll get on to whatsapp and and have a chat so 